we are very close friends. I was the best man at his wedding. He was the godfather to my daughter. Three years went past and he rang me up and he went, uh, I've got your gig, Jace. And I was like, all right, Mint. And he said, uh, the bloke's going to ring you. It's going to be great. I've told him you'd be fantastic. And I was like, fantastic. The guy rang and I went, hi. And he went, hi, it's Nathan. Can I speak to Jason Cook, please? <laughs> I've won something. <laughs> I was like, what do you want? He went, hi, I was given your number by Chris Ramsey. He said you're available for a gig for me. <laughs> I was like, are you constipated? What the hell is going on? I said, yeah, yeah, where's the gig? And he went, it's on board one of our luxury cruise ships. And I was like, well, no. <laughs> like, cruise ships are death for comics, man. Cruise ship comedians, they don't swear. They don't talk about sex. Do you know what I mean? And swear, and I'm a Geordie. It's how we breathe. Do you know what I mean? It's horrible. Watch. <gasps> F hell. Ooh, you bastard. It's like... <laughs> The way we go. So I said, look, mate, I can't, I can't do your cruise. You'll get so many complaints. It'll be horrible. It really will. And then he told me the fee. And I was like, I'll do your boat. Let's have a go. Let's get on the boat. <laughs> he promised me a luxury cruise line. I got there. It was a floating Aldi. Right? <laughs> The oldest people I've ever seen, the oldest people. I've never felt so young or attractive or symmetrical in all my life. <laughs> on the first day, Three women died. I know, if you're on a cruise and you hear Code Alpha, cabin 674, someone's just died. <laughs> right? But the people on the cruise were so cheap that every time they heard a Code Alpha, they're all going, oh, am I getting upgrades? George, am I getting upgrades? <laughs> a plot has become available on the Cemetery of the Seas. <laughs> said to one of the dancers, is that quite you know, regular? Do people die very often on board the cruise? She went, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've just come over from the Caribbean. It took us 12 days to get here. That many people died, we had to have an ice cream day. Now, an ice cream day is when the morgue is full, so they've got to start putting the bodies in the ice cream fridge, <laughs> and they have to give out the ice cream to all the passengers. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? <laughs> There's a procedure in place. People are wandering around with massive ice creams. <laughs> oh, and I do miss Brenda, but this is a Neapolitan. I don't know how to feel. <laughs> do you want chocolate sprinkles? It's what you would have wanted. <laughs> <laughs>